Example problem two, application, sharing costs. And this is a multiple choice question. Suppose you buy a slice of pizza for our $1.50. You also split the cost of renting a video with two friends. Your total cost is $2.75. Which equation can you use to find the cost of renting the video? Well, again, we have four choices. We have uh, 150 plus V equals 275. 150 plus V divided by 2 equals 275. 150 plus V divided by 3 equals 275. And finally, 150 plus V, that sum divided by 3, equals 275. So in words, we can represent this problem as the cost of pizza plus the cost of video divided by 3 is 275. And that, of course, was your total cost. So let's let V represent the cost of the video. In this case, the cost of the pizza is $1.50 plus the total cost of the video divided by 3, which is the cost of the video shared by us, or the portion that we contributed, equals uh, the total, $2.75, or the total spent by you. So the correct answer is C. Notice that's $1.50 plus V divided by 3 equals $2.75. Now, you can solve the equation to actually find the cost. So let's do that. We need to get V by itself. We can think of a teeter-totter. We can think of a balance. We can think of uh, several apps that we use to isolate variables. Or we can think of SADMAP. So we need to undo the order of operations. SADMAP. We have two things to do. This is going to be a two-step equation. We need to deal with this dollar and fifty cents and with this divided by three. The question is, which to do first? SADMAP will help with that. Right now we have positive one dollar and fifty cents. That's really being added to V divided by three. So the inverse of adding one dollar and fifty cents is of course to subtract. So we have one instance or one operation of subtraction that will help us to get V by itself. Now we also have V divided by 3 existing in the equation right now. The inverse of dividing by 3 is to multiply by 3. So multiplication is the other step, or the other operation we'll use to isolate V. Now considering SADMAP, the S comes first, and so that's a good indicator that we should subtract, in this case, $1.50 from both sides of the equation, being sure to keep everything lined up and only subtracting values from like terms. $1.50 minus $1.50 well, cancels. That's why we're doing this in the first place. And now we move a bit closer, well, a large amount closer, to having V isolated. We now only have one term with V remaining. We have V divided by 3 equals $2.75 minus $1.50 one dollar and twenty-five cents. A quick mental check by adding these two, a dollar fifty and a dollar twenty-five, would I get back to two seventy-five? And sure enough, so I've done my, my mental subtraction correctly. And our final step, we're to that M step, or to multiply. The inverse of dividing by three is to multiply by three. Change colors, multiply by three, multiply by 3, and it doesn't matter that I'm multiplying by 3 from the left on this side of the equation and that I'm multiplying by 3 on the right or from the right on this side of the equation because multiplication is commutative, meaning we can change the order and still get the same answer. Now 3 cancels here. We can think of that as being a fraction where we get this cross reduction and we are left with V over 1 Right, because of 1 times 1, and V over 1, of course, is just V. Change back to black, V equals $1.25 times 3, well, that's 375. So there we've solved for V, but remember, one of the most important steps is often to simply plug back in your value for the variable in the original equation and check it. So let's do that. Change to a new color. Let's try red. 
So rewriting the entire original equation, $1.50 plus, but now instead of writing V, I'm gonna plug in our value, the number we've found to be equivalent to V, 375 over three equals, try that again, equals, 275. So copying the entire equation, now we have $1.50 plus 375 divided by 3 is $1.25 equals <laughs> equals uh, 275. And remember the idea here is, is this true? We're trying to verify that this is true. If so, then our solution is correct. And I can check $1.50 plus $1.25, sure enough, if I don't forget my decimal point, is $2.75. And so our answer checks out, and we're correct. And now it's time for a quick check problem. Number two, the telephone bill. To make a long distance call, it costs 50 cents per call and 85 cents per minute. You make a long distance call that costs $3.90. Write and solve an equation to find the length of the call. And now for the check your understanding problems. Write an equation for each model in problems one and two. In problems three through six, write the first step in solving each equation. And in problem seven, estimation, use estimation to solve 10.67 plus x over 1.95 equals 38.9.